What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another movie reaction for you. We are starting the Hunger Games series. Yes. Very excited to check this entire series out. We've heard a lot of great things about it. And yeah, we're just very excited. Yeah. If you didn't know, we do watch movies every single weekend over on our Twitch channel. That link is down below. And yeah, you ready for the Hunger Games? Yep. Let's go. Oh God. It's okay, you're just dreaming. You're dreaming. It was me. She looks like a baby. I just gotta go, but I'll be back. I love you. All right, so this is already really intense. There's, there's a child involved. So this happens every single year. I love those boots. Oh God, can we not? Fuck. God damn it. Why every time? What are you gonna do with that when you kill it? You f fucker. It's not funny. What are you gonna do with a hundred pound deer, catnip? I was gonna sell it. <laughs> damn. She's got some skills with that bow and arrow. Oh, what? I didn't realize we got spaceships. What in the actual... What is this getup? Does this mean I'm fancy, I have money? Just one year, what if everyone just stopped watching? Well, they won't, Gail. And what if they did? What if we did? It won't happen. Is this where Squid Game got its premise? People watching other human beings kill each other? Oh my god. Is this real? Yeah, better be. Cost me a squirrel. What in the hell? That's sad. They have to like say goodbye to their children? Yeah, they don't know if they're gonna get selected, right? It's a mocking J pin. And as long as you have it, nothing bad will happen to you. Uh oh. <sighs> what was the age group again? 12 to 18. Like, how's a 12 year old gonna fight for their life? This, uh, this feels terrible. I don't like this at all. This feels like a war movie. May the odds be ever in your favor. Is that, um... She was in 40-Year-Old Virgin. Thirteen districts rebelled against the country that fed them. When the traitors were defeated, we swore as a nation we would never know this treason again. One young man and woman to fight to the death would serve as a reminder of our generosity and our forgiveness. Jesus. Ladies first. <laughs> Shit. Primrose Everdeen. Oh. My. God. Oh no, no. She's just a baby. They're all just a bunch of babies. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute. Zendaya, I need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. No. Oh, I don't like this at all. No! No! Dramatic turn of events no! here in District 12. I would probably do the same thing. I don't like kids crying. Katniss Everdeen. I don't like it when the kids cry. You guys know if there's kids and animals, I lose my shit. Pita Malark. I'm just gonna take a wild guess. It's hot guy over here. Never mind. It's not. Nope. Here we are. I would be peeing my pants. You're gonna be okay. Don't take any extra food from them. It isn't worth putting your name in more times. <laughs> I can't with the babies. So no! Ben, no! I promise, Ben. You're stronger than they are. Get to a bow. They may not have. Well, if you show them how good you are, if they don't have a bow, then you make one. Okay, you know how to hunt. Take care of them, Gail. Whatever you do, don't let them starve. Let's go. 
Dude, this is a fucking trip. I mean, what do you do if you're paired up against a bunch of 12-year-olds? Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to do? Is that Woody Harrelson? What in the hell? <laughs> or you're supposed to tell us how to get sponsors and give us advice. Oh. Embrace the probability of your imminent death. Okay. It's not always a good thing to meet your mentor. It's really not. Not always what you probably envisioned in your head. Give me a chance to wake up, sweetheart. <laughs> this guy. Marmalade. <gasps> that is mahogany. <laughs> you really want to know how to stay alive? You get people to like you. A knife or even some matches can mean the difference between life and death. And those things only come from sponsors. You're not off to a real good start. Oh my god, dude. So are sponsors like... People that are watching or... So yeah, I feel like the sponsors are like people who are watching the show and get to pick people. Like, like I a want to sponsor that person. Show yeah, or that's what it feels like. These folks are fancy. I wonder if being a volunteer is going to give her an extra bump. It's almost like an embedded sympathy moment. I'm sorry that this happened to you. And I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Is that Lenny Kravitz? Hell yeah. So you're here to make me look pretty. I'm here to help you make an impression. I'm not very good at making friends. Dude, this is so crazy. <laughs> Over 100 thousand people craning it's the hair for me you know what i can't help think of when i see those two huh? bold strategy cotton <laughs> we'll cotton. see we'll see if it works out for him on the ocho <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That's epic right there. Holy shit. Gotta play the game. Gotta play the game. That was amazing. Is that Bjorn? Wait. It is Bjorn! <laughs> uh oh. So this is the living room. I mean, at least they get, like, pampered before they gotta go fight for their death. Fight I mean, for their life. In two weeks, 23 of you will be dead. Dang. Oh, they don't just shove him in. Oh my god, he looks like a baby. He looks like a legit baby. <laughs> and these look like legit babies! They are babies. Don't ignore the survival skills. Everybody wants to grab a soul. It looks like he's very arrogant. <laughs> Feels like the it's very balanced in terms of looks like there's some like very top flight and shape tough folks and then there's like the weak. Where's my knife? Huh? I put my knife right there. I just to touch your knife. Touch you took my knife. Then take his door off me. Just sit here. I'll finish you right now, kid, huh? Actually, better yet. Oh. <laughs> she took the knife. Oh, shit. In these little training moments, I don't know how much I would actually try to give away. It's like I'm sure some of them want to, like, intimidate and scare. I'd probably be a little more, if you're allowed to be, right. kind of selective with what you show everyone your talent is. Hey. How did you do that? I used to take her at the cakes down at the bakery. See? Oh, what? That's awesome. Hey, I think you have a shadow. Cutie. Of course you could bet on this. What? No! What? Give your kid a sword? Oh, God. It's not real, is it? Was that a real sword? Fuck, I hope not. Make sure they remember you. 
Dude, this is wild. It's like if you don't impress people, you're basically completely screwed. Yeah. If no one likes you, you're fucked. I love her hairstyle. That's really cute. Katniss Everdeen? <laughs> That's not good. First impression. She should shoot one up there. Get their attention. I think she was just saw the pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot. Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> that was pretty G right there. Katniss Everdeen with a score of 11. Ooh, shit. Oh, yes. Wow. 11 out of 12, that's fucking dope. She earned it. She shot an arrow at your head. I mean, if we just wanted to intimidate the districts, why not round up 24 of them at random and execute them all at once? Okay. Hope. It is the only thing stronger than fear. It's the facial hair for me. I don't know. That's got to be a lot of grooming <laughs> to get your facial hair to look that friggin' That's blind. a lot of drawing yeah. stuff in. <laughs> Caesar Blitterman! Oh my God, with the chiclet teeth. <laughs> they really put those fake teeth on him. And I don't know how to make people like me. How do you make people like well, you? Well, you made me like you. That's different. I wasn't trying. Be yourself. I'll be there the whole time. It's almost like her attitude and her personality is what is drawing people to like her. Yeah. She's not, like, overdoing it. She's not coming across as, like, fake. What? <laughs> I think someone's a little nervous. <laughs> now tell me about the flames. Are they real? Yes. In fact, I'm wearing them today. Would you like to see? Wait, wait, wait. Is it safe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I love this. That's pretty dope. That is awesome. I love it. You volunteered for her at the reaping. And what did you say to her? I told her that I would try to win. That I would try to win for her. See, her story is very compelling. She's got a good look. She's got a cool name. She's dope with a bow. She's and she's fire. got a story. Like she's like the complete package. It feels like for this whole gotta people have people like you kind of thing. Tell me, is there a special girl back home? A handsome man like you, Peter. Tell me. There's this one girl that I've had a crush on forever. Oh, jeez. Is he going to go there? I hope not. Is he going to bring her down by saying this? He's going to say her, isn't it? I don't think winning's going to help me at all. And why not? Because she came here with me. Well, that's bad luck. Well, he didn't throw her under the bus at least, right? Not yet. I don't know. I, I feel like that's... Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you a favor? He made me look weak. He made you look desirable. It's a television show. Sounds like she's doing just fine with impressing people. She doesn't need that kind of BS story. Right. I mean, he obviously said that to gain sympathy. a little bit of sympathy yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's playing the game well. What do you think so far? It's good. I like it. I think they've done a really good job with the buildup because I'm very intrigued with what's about to play out. They'll put all kinds of stuff right in front, right in the mouth of the cornucopia. Don't go for it. Why not? It's a bloodbath. They're trying to pull you in. What is that? Oh, shit. God damn, dude. This is so intense. I like Sina. If she's doing a really great job, I feel her anxiety.
So anyone who just darts for a weapon is going to end up fighting people who are just darting for weapons. That strategy makes sense. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. Like the worst countdown ever. Honestly. Damn, dude. Oh, bitch. I love the, like, no audio, but the music. Oh. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he was just a little kid. I mean, thank you for not showing it, per se. And of course, the familiar boom of the cannon. The fuck? The end of another fallen tribute. So now there's only 12 left, and since they started with 24? Already 12 dead? Oh shit, dude. Yeah, the people who darted for the weapons, if you weren't the strongest fighter, you died pretty quick. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, squirrel. Mmm, yummy. There's fucking cameras everywhere. Remember, we started with just one. It's a tough job for that director. It's a lot of cameras to to keep organized and maintain and <laughs> Fire's dangerous. Do they got a little squad? Loverboy. You sure she went this way? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, punk ass. At some point, you turn on each other, for sure. She is almost at the edge. Let's turn her around. What? Turn her around? So they can manipulate the environment, too. I'm sorry? Fireballs? Oh my god. What the fuck? This is like playing a battle royale where it's like they're shrinking the map so it forces engagement and fighting. Jeez, dude. What the hell? Oh no! What the fuck? Dude, this is insanity. This is so fucked. Oh my god, dude, I hate this. <laughs> So how the fuck is she gonna get out of this? I don't know. I'm coming for you. You can't climb. Oh shit! You can't climb like her, punk. Go for it. Get her. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just wait her out. She's gotta come down at some point. That or starve to death. This fucking guy. I mean, the visuals in this movie so far are pretty incredible. I like the way it's shot. Dude, they got some dope ass weapons though. They do, they do, they do. They ain't fucking around. Nope. What is this? Oh, is this the sponsored stuff? Are the gifts starting to fly in? Right. 
You know, it'd be dope if someone like sent her like a little grenade. Just drop it on them. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Is it burn cream? Wow. That's fucking cool as hell. That is. <laughs> Just murder all these fools! Right? I don't know how they trust each other so well. Like... I don't either. I mean, because eventually they're going to have to kill each other, yeah? I mean, only one winner. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> That's better than a bomb. <laughs> Drop a fucking bee's nest on the on their little campsite. I think those are tracker jackers. Am I wrong? Tracker jackers? Tracker jackers are genetically engineered wasps whose venom causes searing pain. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit, dude. It's not like some tiny branch either. It's like a big ass branch. I mean, her Rambo blade should be able to cut through it. Oh. <gasps> oh my God, did she just get stung? Oh shit. Oh my God. Oh, this is hard to watch. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Anyone who has a fear of bees, that's horrifying. Oh shit, dude. <gasps> I'll get the bow. She just gave herself a fucking concussion or what, man? <gasps> oh my god. Dude, those things fucked her up. Let us go. Yeah, here you go. What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh, it's from the wasps, right? The, the bee sting? Yeah. Yeah. They're just powerful hallucinations. Yeah. Oh my god. Did he cover her up? Yeah, I think so. Dude, she is insanely lucky to still be alive. Did that little girl help her? Rue? Rue. Aww. Sweet baby. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. She might hurt you, though! <laughs> Who knows? She's just a sweet little thing. She's gonna have to not be so sweet at some point. How long was I asleep? Couple of days. Whoa! Couple of days? Holy shit, dude. Oh, he's just taking care of her. But what do you do if it's just the last, like, what, if it's just mm -mm. you two? Like, what do you do? What do you do? Walking uh, Jays. Back home, we use them to signal all the time. Oh my god, I love this kid. Rue is the best. That's so cool. Okay. Why do I have a feeling that something's going to happen to Rue now? <sighs> all the supplies. Literally all of them. Over here. Come on. Come on. Look. Good girl. I mean, you just shoot him in the face with an arrow, right? I don't know. <laughs> Like, if it's going to be you or me, it's got to be you every time. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. I really like the way this movie is filmed. Those up close shots just now were, it just made the moment feel even more just like intense and even like intimate in terms of what she's dealing with. Right. 
Oh, well, he's dead. She just got the kid killed. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, he kind of saw that one coming. <sighs> I like the handheld shots, the shaky cams. It makes you feel like you're there. Oh, no. No, not the baby. Help. What the fuck? Oh shit! Oh shit! No. 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 <gasps> no. Not the baby. Oh no. <sighs> that just gave me chills. You know what that kind of felt like to me? Mm -hmm. When Adrian told Rocky, when. A poor baby. She's just a baby. I really like it when they go to the silent moments and they're just playing the music. That almost gives it an extra level of emotion. <laughs> Is that her dad? Is that her dad? Okay. The regulations requiring a single victor have been suspended. Oh, what? So that's gonna build their young love storyline. That's wild that they could alter the rules like that. I mean, I guess they could do whatever the fuck they want. True. But whatever creates the most compelling television, right? <laughs> oh, what the hell? That's, that's incredible to see it, like, dude, he's got some fucking skills. I'm, I'm amazed. Like, doing it on the arm is, like, one thing, but, like, being able to cover your face that way with, I would assume, no mirror anywhere, like, that's amazing. So you have to fake a relationship right now to get some parachutes? I remember the first time I saw you. Your hair was in two braids instead of one. I watched you going home every day. All right. Maybe he actually <laughs> did have a crush. Unless he's hamming it up for the cameras. Again, it's kind of hard to know. Even if I don't make it. She shushes him a lot. Mm -hmm. She shushes a lot of people a lot. Wow. Oh, he's jelly. No, there's no way I'm letting you go. <laughs> oh. Is that all that's left? Just the four of them? Yes. Shoot her! Oh my god, dude. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh shit! Well, it's too bad that you couldn't help your little friend. Oh, you little bitch. 
Oh. You kill her? No. I hurt you. Just this time, 12. For real. <sighs> Damn, dude. Dude, that shit's like magic. I never even knew she was following me. What are you doing? Maybe Kate will experience too. Fuck, <laughs> man. Oh, right here, sir. Oh, what? Oh, that's great. What in the fuck? What animal is that? A dog and something else. Oh my god. Dude, the fact that they could just do stuff like that is just so wild. It's like, yeah, we, we're ready for this game to end. We're gonna add a crazy looking dog monster into the middle of the friggin' map. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit! <gasps> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck is that? It's a gorilla dog, literally. Oh, oh, they can just spawn them. Oh my god. They can do whatever they want. Oh shit. Ah! 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 No, no! Oh shit. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god. Come on, you've hit an apple. You can hit his big head. I can still do that. One more kill. Bring pride to my district. He just signaled to her. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! I'm so impressed! Wow, dude! She even put him out of his misery. That was good. Please don't change the rules again. Right? There has been a slight rule change. Of course there is. Only one victor may be crowned. That felt a little predictable. Not gonna lie. This is so fucked, dude. I hate this. Go ahead. What the hell? No, trust me. Stop! Ladies and gentlemen. I present the winners. <laughs> Another twist. That was good. This is serious. Not just for you. They don't take these things lightly. Are they gonna like penalize her? Oh, did they lock him in? Or is he gonna take the blame? Oh, shit. Oh, is that like, go kill yourself or what? Looks like somebody had to take the fall for the way that played out. I couldn't imagine life without him. <laughs> She's good now. She's good. I love her, the graphic liner. Oh my God, so pretty. I don't want to forget. Oh. Ah! Is he mad? He's mad. Well, like he said, he got showed up. That was really good. That was really good. I, I was pleasantly surprised. Movie's been out a long time. I've always resisted it for... I don't even know what reason. Well, I mean, again, 2012 was the year 
of our first daughter. Yeah. So we've missed a lot of stuff since then. We haven't really had a chance to do much when she was little. So I mean, the story was strong. There was a ton of emotion. Yes. I for, really for had Peru. For real. For real. I literally had no expectations in terms of what we were getting in terms of these human versus human fights. The fact that these people had control of the environment. They were shooting fireballs at her. Yeah, they, they were don't want burning you to the forest down. Way. Yes, they were burning it down. Shit. And, and the way they were, the sponsors were able to get them things as they felt sympathy for them. It's wild. And the way they could change the rule. Like, they're in control of everything. And just the but, way it played out. Just, there was a lot of emotion. I love the way it was filmed. See, very at the very end there with the berries, I for sure thought she was gonna fake it and let him kill himself. Mm. But she, like you know, they were gonna do it together. Which yeah, I it was it was really it was really fun to actually watch her kind of evolution through this kind of movie because she started and was cold. She didn't want to play the game. And now you see her at the end, like, hamming it up and, like, love, and I did this for you, and this and that, and, like... But how is that going to work with the boy from home? Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll have to find out. I just, like, he kind of looked at her, and, like, while he was watching her on TV, he was... He looked real jealous. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the whole show was built around their love. <laughs> well, and, okay, so now that they're home... Can she tell Pita like, like, hey, that was I didn't for... really like <laughs> yeah. you. My bad. Did it to play the game. <laughs> but did she, or does she or, actually really yeah. love him now? Yeah, I mean, I it felt know. like so throughout the movie. I wasn't sure if he had feelings for her or if he was just bullshitting. But I feel like the end there kind of shows that he did. Yeah. Because she's like, we're just gonna forget that happened, and he's like, I don't want to forget. That was really good. Yeah. And I was holding out. I wanted to see this first movie before we committed to the set. We're gonna watch the second one. Absolutely, I have to. I have to. Because that was then? that was really good. I was I was very much into it. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna play out now because obviously President Snow is mad. Winter is coming. He obviously knows nothing. Winter is coming. <laughs> So, the fact that he's upset, I just get the assumption that the game didn't play out the way he wanted it to. Things didn't go the way, according to his script, and I guess the reality of his show played out a little too much. And they ended up having more control. The players had more control of the finale than the, the basically the producers and those who own it right. did, which stems to their anger. And are they going to, like force them into the next one? Are they going to, like, pull some weird card and be like, this didn't actually play out the way we wanted it to. We're going to change it. Or, like, kill them at home. <laughs> that would be fucking insane. But, yeah, I'm very intrigued to see where this story goes. I thought it was a very well-done movie. Again, I... They did a really good job of making you feel the emotions of what these people were dealing with. Yeah. You felt it. You felt the panic. And the way it was filmed, I really liked the moments where they had, like, the shaky cam because it felt like you were there like running. running with that. Yeah. And it was a very interesting touch to pull the audio away for really emotional moments and just hear, like, really kind of somber music playing. And then they went to her, like, screaming, being upset. I think that's a really strong touch. I thought that was pretty creative. And... Yeah, I thought it was all very well done. I thought the production was fantastic. I thought the story was good. It felt a little predictable in certain moments. Yeah, it did. But they were able to kind of like flip it on you at the end, which I kind of appreciated. I mean, knowing that she's the star, she's the main character, we knew that she was going to be in The Hunger Games. We knew she wasn't going to die in movie one. Right. It's just one of those things that kind of felt... the That was kind of part of the predictable part. But... They were still able to kind of suck you in. They still gave you anxiety, made everything feel very tense. I thought it was a very well done, very well executed movie. Agreed. Very excited for the second one. Yes. So, And we'll watch it next week. So. Yes. 
Do you have any other thoughts on that? I don't. She went up a notch in my book. She did. She just looks like such a baby. I mean, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Part of the reason why I hadn't had any interest in watching these was because of her primarily. I'm not like a huge fan of most of the stuff that she's done, but I thought she did a really good job. I thought her shaking before she got put in the tube was an incredible moment because that feels like it felt like you were there with her just like oh my god what would you be feeling moments before you were getting put in a tube to get put in a world where you had to murder other people i would feel like i have to pee i would probably pee my pants to be honest i mean so intense really very much appreciated very much enjoyed that movie i thought it was great i appreciate the suggestions i'm glad that we made the decision to start this and very curious to see where it goes now you guys share your thoughts as well in the comments down below. We will catch you guys for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.